Christian Kojal was given less than a year to live as a toddler. Chemotherapy didn't work on his rare brain tumour. He's now seven, thanks to a breakthrough program. It is life changing and to give other families hope that even if it is a very poor prognosis, which is what we had, that there is a chance. Researchers analysed Christian's entire genome and pinpointed a rare mutation in just a few weeks, meaning they could identify the exact drug he needed. Lo and behold, instead of the chemotherapy not working, this targeted therapy started to shrink the tumour and he continues to be on that drug today with minimal side effects. So it's a remarkable thing. And Christian's opportunity is going nationwide. By the end of this year, for the first time in the history of our country, every Australian child diagnosed with cancer will have access to precision medicine. The opportunity with upfront diagnosis is unprecedented internationally and I'm very excited. The rollout will come on the heels of a trial involving more than 900 kids with high-risk cancers, those most difficult to treat, with a 30% chance of survival or less. More than 70% of this group saw a benefit from targeted therapies. It's really uh, giving everyone a little more energy, a little more kick in our step, because we don't like to say there's nothing more we can do. And one day, the program could be expanded to those not so young. Absolutely, if we're able to you know, streamline this and prove its utility and the feasibility of doing this in children, then there's absolutely every reason why it could then be expanded uh, to adults with cancer as well. The massive amount of genetic information the program will generate will be fed into a global data network, helping scientists work on more treatments. Mary Geeran, ABC News.